Hi, boys and girls. Um, we have a special day coming up this weekend. On Sunday is Father's Day. So um, not all of us have fathers. My dad died a long time ago, 21 years ago. So on Father's Day, I like to spend the day celebrating my mom because since I don't have a dad, she does everything moms and dads both do. And um, sometimes there's an uncle or a grandfather or someone else that you celebrate Father's Day with. Um, if not, you can make this for you, whoever you wish. But first, we'll start with the book called Way Down Deep in the Deep Blue Sea, written by Jan Heck and illustrated by Valeria Patrone. There's a boy with some swimming goggles on, way down deep in the deep blue sea. Way down deep in the deep blue sea, I'm looking for a treasure for my mama and me. I'm so brave, can't scare me. Way down deep in the deep blue sea. Oh, a seahorse. Way down deep in the deep blue sea, I spy a seahorse racing by me. Hello, seahorse. Giddy up, seahorse. See you later, seahorse. Way down deep in the deep blue sea, I spy a hermit crab hiding from me. Hello, crab, peekaboo crab. See you later, crab. Swim away. Hermit crabs are kind of like kids. They grow and grow and get too big for their shell, so then they have to find another shell to wear. Just like boys and girls, their feet grow and then they need new shoes. Way down deep in the deep blue sea, I spy a starfish dancing by me. Hello, starfish, do -si do starfish. See you later, starfish. Swim away. Way down deep in the deep blue sea, I spy a sea turtle following me. Hello, turtle. Tag along, turtle. See you later, turtle. Swim away. Way down deep in the deep blue sea, I spy an octopus waving at me. Hello, octopus. Give me eight, octopus. See you later, octopus. Swim away. I think this is my favorite picture in the book because it's so colorful. Way down deep in the deep blue sea, I spy a dolphin diving by me. Hello, dolphin. Hitch a ride, dolphin. See you later, dolphin. Swim away. That was a nice picture, too. <gasps> Way down deep in the deep blue sea, I spy a swordfish fencing with me. Hello, swordfish. Touche, swordfish. See you later, swordfish. Swim away. Fencing is what they call sword fighting. They call it fencing. Way down deep in the deep blue sea, I spy a whale spouting water by me. Hello, whale. Sing along, whale. See you later, whale. Swim away. Mm, that whale has a beautiful smile. Way down deep in the deep blue sea, I spy a treasure gleaming at me. Hello, treasure, pirate treasure. Take a long treasure. Swim away. Ooh. Way down deep in the deep blue sea, I spy a shark laughing at me. Goodbye, shark. Goodbye, whale. Goodbye, swordfish. Goodbye, dolphin.
Goodbye, octopus. Goodbye, turtle. Goodbye, starfish. Goodbye, hermit crab. Goodbye, seahorse. Up, up, up from the deep blue sea. I find Mama waiting for me. Hello, Mama. Guess what, Mama? I found a treasure in the deep blue sea. Oh, and where was he? He was in the bathtub. All those toys were just, all those animals were just toys in his bathtub with him. So that's fun. When you use your imagination, you can do lots of fun things. So I took a paper plate and I cut it in half and it's the cheap kind of paper plate. I like them better for crafts because they bend or you could do different things with them. You can use half of them or a whole one. They just stick together really tightly though. So you've got to make sure you just have one. So I also have this hole puncher. So I'm going to punch a hole right there. And I was thinking of a fish that wasn't in this book, which would be a jellyfish. And I thought maybe we could make a jellyfish today. So first, I just have some different ribbon and strings here because I like, I like rainbow colors. You could do it all the same color, but I like it to be different. So I'm going to actually put a knot at the end of this so that... I can hang it up if I want, like that. So now along here, I'm going to put some other holes. And can you guess what kind of underwater animal I'm making? I'm going to make a jellyfish. So however many strings you have, you can poke that many holes in. And I pick different colors and different lengths, because I wanted a bit of variety. So I'm just gonna start putting these ribbons into the holes and tying a little knot so they don't fall out. I think I'll double knot it. Okay, so there's one hanging down. Here's a blue one I got. tie that one and yeah you could use all different colors like I'm doing or if you just had one color you could do that I don't know where I'm gonna put this so I thought I'll use a variety of colors and then decide later where it will go so I'm making a jellyfish my string so far. Da, 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 da. And you can do all the knots on one side or the other. And then whichever side doesn't have the knots, that's where we can do the face. Except I didn't do that. <laughs> Which is why I know you should, because I didn't and I wish I had. All right, pretty sure this looks like a jellyfish. Just needs a face. Don't really know what jellyfish look like. You could Google it, I suppose. I'm just gonna main make mine look like just any face. So I'm just gonna get my um, clipboard here to hold it in place. And I think I'll just give it two big happy eyes. You could also do um, googly eyes if you have some. Apparently his eyes aren't too even, but that's okay. That makes him special. <laughs> his eyes are getting bigger. <laughs> All right, so there's my hanging uh, 
a hanging jellyfish, but I would see now to put more holes and more ribbon, and I should maybe color this. So if you have crayons, you can color your plate first. Okay, now one of the things that was in there in the story was a octopus. And I have this, and if you color this and cut it out, you can make a puppet out of it. So here's the puppet I made. I colored it and then I made little circles with dots in it to look like the suction cups that octopus have. But if you count all his tentacles, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because that's how many they have. So I did this and then I put it on a paper bag to make a puppet. But you can make anything any animal into a puppet as long as you leave a spot for their their mouth to open and close. So say I wanted to do a puppet of a monster. So I could go, I could like just draw like scraggly hair all over and big feet. And scraggly like -y. and then I could give him a face I think he'll have a bunch of eyeballs there's one maybe I'll give him a big one right in the middle of his forehead here And then another one over here. And then I'm going to put a line here. That's where I'm going to cut it. So this will be the top part of the puppet. This will be the bottom. And I'm going to have a tongue hanging out here. So I should color it, but I'm going to just show you what to do first. So I'm going to cut it out. I do own grown-up scissors, but they keep disappearing from my office. So then I have to keep using kid scissors, which luckily I'm used to using at school. So you could do this with any person, animal, anything you want, as long as you make sure to have a spot where it's okay to cut it in half like I did where the mouth is going to go. And because I used orange paper, it's okay that I didn't color my, my monster, but if I had white paper, I probably would have wanted to color it. So we're doing a monster puppet, but I'll show you where we would cut the other one if we were doing the octopus one. Okay, so there's a monster. There's the octopus. So first I would color it all, then I'd cut it out, then I would cut right across here. Here's my monster. I'm going to cut right across here. Then it's time to turn it into a puppet. So most paper bags have a nice smooth side. This is where your name goes. And the other side where the chin is that goes up and down. So when you're making a puppet, what you want to do is find the chin and glue the head right to where the chin is. Glue it there. So once the glue's dry, it will open and close like that. So I'm going to get my handy dandy glue. I'm going to glue his little face on. And I do want it to come right to the rim so that when it opens, his, his face lifts up. Then I put the glue down here on the bag. 
and I put the body on, but I make sure that it will go just to the face, not over it, or the bag won't open. So now that I've done that, I'm going to close my glue so it doesn't dry up and be no good for me anymore. And this is when I can decorate. So because I gave him a tongue, I'm going to color his tongue red. And I didn't give him any arms, so I could do that now. I could draw them on, I could use some um, pipe cleaners. And I mean, I like doing monsters because there's no right or wrong way to do a monster. They could have four eyes, they could have no eyes. They could have three noses, they could have no noses. So I can give him a little hand here. And I think I'm gonna put a lollipop in it. Cause I think he'd like a lollipop. There he is, holding a lollipop. Um, maybe I'll give him some eyelashes so people know that those are his eyes. And should I give him a cute little nose maybe? Little button nose. There we go. There's my monster. He's kind of cute. So then you could let him dry, make sure the glue's dry, especially if you're using the goopy white glue. And then you put your hand in there and ta-da! Why? I have a monster. Do you love me? I have a monster. So there you go. I'll need this paper bag, some paper, some imagination, and that is that. So next week is the last week of school, which is crazy, um, but I'm probably just going to keep doing the videos over the summer. Uh, so you could find them on my Facebook page, which is Mrs. Robinson's Extended March Break Fun, I think it's called, and uh, or on the YouTube channel. Okay, so I'll see you next time. Bye.